So now that you know how to solve them, let's put them to good use. We deposit 2,000 bucks in the bank. That's our principal. Pay 7.5% interest compounded continuously. And so what that tells you is you're going to use our PERT equation. Anytime you see that continuously. How long will it take to get 2400? So we want 2400. That's what's going on the other side of the equal sign. E is just our number. 7.5% has to be changed into our 0 0.12075. And we're going to raise that to the RT power like that. So, how do we start solving this for t? Let's divide by the 2,000 first. So 2,400 divided by 2,000. What do we get? You get your 1.2. e to the 0 0.075 t. Take the natural log of both sides. To get the e, get the t out of an exponential part, you have to do the inverse of it by taking the natural log of both sides, 0 0.075t. Whole reason we did it, that comes down in front. Let's move up over here. Natural log of 1.2 equals what we brought down in front, 0.075t times the natural log of e. Natural log of e, e to the first power is e. This is 1. That's equal to 1. It cancels out. Now all you have to do is divide by 0 0.075, divide by 0 0.075, and you get what t is. Natural log, 1.2, divided by 0 0.075. And now, rather than having to guess and check your way through or using your graphing calculator to approximate it, we know that in about 2.4 years, almost two and a half years, we're going to have $2,400 in the bank. All right, so the population of the U.S. grows continuously at approximately 1.8% each year. Currently have 293 million people. First, let's give the equation. So what we're talking about is the population is currently 293, so that's our starting value growing continuously again, so we're going to use this e to the rt again, e to the 1.8. So we're going to move that 1, 2. So we're going to have 0 0.018, because we moved it two spots, to the t. Estimate the population 10 years from now. So we want to know when t is 10, what is your population? 293 e to the point zero one eight times ten. And so we type that in two ninety three times e to the power of point zero one eight times ten or just point one eight. Um, so that equals three hundred and fifty point I'm gonna round it up just to eight. And that's three fifty point eight. That's representing millions of people. 350.8 million people. When will the population reach 320? So when we're looking for a T and we want the population to be 320 so that's going on the other side um, we just saw that in 10 years it's going to be at 350, so before that it's going to hit 320. Um, and we're solving the equation that we had with t in it. So again, trying to get the t by itself, let's first get rid of the 293. So 320 divided by 293, let's just leave that the way it is, e to the 0 0.018 t. To get the t out of an exponential, you've got to take the log of both sides. I'm going to take the natural log 
because we have um, we have base e right here, 0 0.018 t. Moving that over here. Whole reason we did that was so that that would come down. Natural log of 320 divided by 293, and that's just because I don't want to type that into the calculator quite yet because it'll probably be a decimal. So we've got 0 0.018 t times the natural log of e. Natural log of e is just 1, and so it cancels out. To solve for t, you divide by 0 0.018, divide by 0 0.018, and we should get a number this is less than 10 because we saw that if we actually calculate it 10 years from now, we were above our goal here. So 4.897. In four years, 4.9 years, we're going to hit 320 million. Um, you could go back and we had typed it in here before and change this 10 to 4.9 years if you want or 4.897 and sure enough we're going to hit 320 with some rounding error. So, last problem. You decide to try out for American Idol and do so badly that Simon, well, old question because Simon's no longer on there, but he embarrasses you in front of millions of people so you sue Fox you win $150,000 and decide to invest it because you're smart, you're wise, and you know that you don't need $150,000 right now. It's going to pay 8.5% annually, compounded monthly. And so remember what that is, is we've got some principal times our 1 plus our whatever our interest rate is, but we divide that interest rate up into different parts. In our case, it's going to be into months. So this is going to be 12. And then we multiply it by how many months pass. So 12 times however many years we have. So if we leave the money in the account for 10 years, what do we get? Well, we get $150,000. One, two, three. And we multiply that by one plus our interest rate, 8.5. So that's 0.12085. Over 12 raised to the 12 times 10. We're leaving it in there for 10 years. So 150,000 times 1 plus 0 0.085 divided by 12 raised to the 120 power. So we get $349,897.07. And What we're looking for now is when will we get one million? How long is it going to take? So one million, one, two, three, equals 150,000. One plus our point zero eight five over our 12 raised to 12 times whatever T is. First thing we're going to do is divide by the 150. So one million divided by 150. Oops. One, two, three. So we get six and two thirds. Or uh, 20 thirds, right? Equals one plus point zero eight five and over 12 raised to the 12t. Natural logable sides. Natural log of the 20 over 3 equals the natural log of this whole side. That brings that 12t down in front with the natural log of 1 plus 0 0.085 over 12. This t is what we're solving for. And so let's take our that and get the t by itself. So let's divide by the 12 and by the natural log of 1 plus 0 0.085 over 12. That right there, if we evaluate, is our answer. Natural log, 20 over 3. And you're going to have to find that answer 
on your own.